So welcome to the series of lectures in Introduction to C Language. This is Sai Kiran Neelam, Assistant Professor from Department Computer Science and Technology at Madhrapalli Institute of Technology and Science. So in our today's lecture, we are going to discuss about some of the C tokens. Inside C tokens, we are going to discuss about C character set, constant, what is a keyword and what are the different uh, keywords we are having in C language and what is an identifier, what are the different rules we are going to follow while defining an identifier. So these are the content what we are going to see in our today's lecture. So first we will see what is a constant. So a constant is a read only variable whose value cannot be modified once they are declared. So here the constants may be integer constant for example in a C program, I want to use a value like 10.10. .10. So this 10 is an integer constant. And second one is floating point constant. Next one, string constant. And next one is character constant. So here, if you want to declare the constant values, so here in C language, we are going to using a keyword called constant. How to declare the constants? What are the notations we need to follow we are going to study study them in depth in upcoming lectures for now just i have given a brief introduction to the constant so here now we will discuss about c character set the c character set is nothing but what are the different alphabets letters and what are the different symbols we are going to use while writing the C program and all these must be like alpha base letters and special characters must be valid which can be used in the C language. So when it is coming to the alphabets either we can use the uppercase from A, B, A to Z as well as we can use the lower case. So C language access both uppercase as well as lower case as variables as well as function names. But the thing is here both are accepted in the C language and both also will be treated as different. And when it is coming to the digits, we can use from 0 to 9. So when it is coming to the special characters, we are going to having several special characters here. First one is comma, period, we can also call it as a dot operator, semicolon, colon, question mark, single quote, double quote explanation mark vertical bar slash backslash tilde underscore dollar percentage ampersand carrot asterisk minus plus equal less than greater than left parenthesis right parenthesis left square bracket right square bracket and what are the different symbols we are having most of the symbols what you are having on the keyboard can be used as a special character and they are all the valid special characters which we can use in the C program. Now we will discuss about keyword. What is a keyword mean? Here keywords are the predefined otherwise reserved words which we can use in the C program. So here each and every keyword is going to having a special meaning to the particular C compiler and these keywords are the part of the syntax and they can be used as they cannot be used as an identifier why because these keywords are the predefined as well as reserved words and they are the part of the syntax we cannot use them as identifier and as c is a case sense to language i already told you c language access both uppercase and lowercase letters and both are going to be treated as different that's why we are going to call it as a case sensitive language so as the c is case sensitive all the keywords must be written in slower letters otherwise lower case and these keywords are also used to identify and as well as to classify the elements of the language such as statements data types and other elements now we will see the list of keywords what we are having in the C language. Total there are 32 keywords available in the C language. The first one is auto. So here basically it is also called as automatic but when you are writing it you need to use the keyword called auto. And next one is break. So this is going to be used in the particular switch statements. And this auto comes under storage class. 
case this is also we are going to using in the switch case next one is char so this is the this particular keyword is going to represent the character data type next one is continue it comes under like uh, unbranching conditional statements or gem statement do it comes under looping statements default it also going to be used in the switch statement constant so basically we are going to call it as constant but when you're writing we need to write const c o n s t next one is double this also comes under data types else it comes under conditional statements enum so it is going to be used to define different types of values under same data type enumerated next one is external it is also one of the storage class but when you are writing you need to use extern keyword for it will be used in the looping statements next one is if it will be used in the conditional control statements go to it comes under gem statements float it comes under data types to represent the floating point data type next int it comes under integer data type but the keyword used is int long register register also comes under storage class return so when you want to write the return statement we need to use the keyword called return signed static size of short struct so this is the keyword which we are going to use while defining a structure next switch type def union void while volatile and unsigned so these are the total 32 keywords which we are having in the c language now we will discuss about identifier one of the token and this uh, identifier is very very important when you are doing the programming why because we need to follow all the rules what we are going to have in this identifiers while doing the programming so what is an identifier an identifier refers to the particular name given to the entities such as variables functions and structures basically we can say like the names which we are using in the c program we can call it as an identifier so here the identifiers must be unique for example in a program i am having a variable as well as function and a structure for all these three i cannot use the same name so all the names must be unique that's why identifiers must be unique and next one they are created to give a unique name to an entity to identify it during the execution of the program suppose if you are not giving the unique name so while the compilation as well as while executing the program we are going to get in the conflict like which one is called that's why we should give the unique uh, to the each and every entity and identify the name must be different from the keywords we already discussed this point in the keywords right so keywords are the reserved words that's why we cannot use those keywords as a identifiers so here here now we will discuss about what are the different rules we are going to have the identifiers suppose if you are taking a valid identifier it may have the combination of letters digits and symbols so when it is coming to the letters it may have the letters from capital a to capital z as well as small a to small z when it is coming to the digits we are going to having from 0 to 9 but when it is coming to the symbols we should use only underscore except underscore we cannot use any other symbol in the identifiers so next rule is an identifier cannot start with a digit so here we have taken one rule like an identifier may be a combination of letters digits and symbols but an identifier cannot start with a digit let me give an example for example i am taking a variable name called a1 it is a valid identifier why because it is having the combination of alphabets and digits if i am taking a variable like 1a it is invalid why because we are having a rule where an identifier cannot start with a digit next except underscore we cannot use any special symbol as i mentioned earlier next the first letter of an identifier should be either a letter or underscore so this is also resembling the particular second rule as a name cannot start with a digit but a name can start with an alphabet 
or a letter as well as with the underscore. So when it is coming to the letter, it may be either a capital letter or small letter. And the next rule is keywords cannot be used as identifier. An identifier cannot start with the digit, which I already mentioned earlier. And we cannot give any kind of space in the middle of the identifier. For example, I am giving a name like I want to calculate the average of the marks. So for that, I am giving the variable name called marks average. If I am giving a variable name something like this, it becomes invalid. Why? Because here I provided a space. So the rule is we cannot give any kind of space in the middle of the name. And next one is there is no rule how long an identifier can be. We can give any length of the identifier, but whatever the C compiler we are using most, it will take eight digits. Even if you are giving 32 digits also, it will consider the first eight digits, otherwise first eight characters of the particular identifier. Next, however, you may run into a problem if some compilers, if the identifier is longer than 31 characters. That's what I'm telling. So most of the compilers is going to support up to 31 characters and that too, even if you are giving, there is no guarantee that all the particular uh, characters will be considered. Some compilers will take only the first eight characters. So these are the rules what we are having for naming the identifier. So these are the references from where I have taken this content. And if you are having any kind of queries, questions, as well as doubts regarding the e-content, you can fill this form. Thank you.